Hey, welcome to this episode of Press Start TV. Thank you so much for joining us. We got so much stuff to talk to you about this week. Um, we've got some just awesome segments we want to talk to you about. Sequels of games that we want to see remade. We have some Tomb Raider, some PS4 Pokemon news. What? And then uh, our favorite zombie game uh, out there. So let's get into that. Um, my name's Will. With us is James. Hey, Mr. Nine. Yo. Guys, let's talk about some Tomb Raider news. The next Tomb Raider, Tomb Raider game. Tomb Raider. Tomb Raider. Uh, Tomb Raider. What was the last one called again? Rise of the Tomb Raider. Will be on PS4 this year. Supposedly. Woohoo! Hopefully it comes to <laughs> PS4. PS4 Square fans rejoice. Yeah. Not do it all at all. But the they people the making the next Tomb Raider game say that this game <coughs> is going to be better, but not bigger. So it's not, not the same studio? Bigger. Is it not the same studio? Do you know? I have no idea if it's not the same studio. Okay. I just know that the creative director from Rise of the Tomb Raider said that the next game may not necessarily be bigger, but it will definitely be better. Mm -hmm. I'm fine with that. Which, I mean, from it's what I'm Because bigger is not always Rise better. Rise of the Tomb no. Raider is <laughs> no, pretty big. for sure. Tomb Raider was a pretty big game. Right. And Rise of the Tomb Raider is even bigger than that one, with even more, like, tombs to go and, you know, rummage through. I'm, well, I'm, cu I'm curious. Gaming is getting on that gun stretch where it's just like, my world's much bigger than yours. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> sure. <touted laughs> that, like, more than anybody. They did. Uh, in, in, some, in some cases, it's like, a lot of people are getting almost turned off of it's too big. Because yeah. like, they you get, get lost. intimidated by the fact that they don't have the time to invest. Right. Right? Completion is mean, nightmare. Nine. I mean, this this is yeah. right up your alley in conversation. Oh, yeah. um, and, and and some gamers, it's not that they don't want to do it. It's mm. just there's so many other games out there they don't want to, you know. Yeah, I'm the same way. Not I, I, like I have a problem. You know, it's like oh, I wanted to finish that, but then that game came out and I had to get my hands on yeah, it. Yeah, so. and I always like games like that come out, and I always like to try and find like the best possible weapon before moving on to the next area. Right. Mm -hmm. Vers not not necessarily leveling my character up. Or discovering new areas, it's finding the best possible gear yeah. that is currently available to and not me. missing sure. it and going like right. 20 levels. Right, because you can, some of these games like The Witcher is a great example. You can go through an entire area and never find the the hidden weapons that are there, mm -hmm. and they're awesome. And you may yeah. never find, yeah. you may even flag the quest to get those weapons. That's how big that game is. Great. And it's already such a long game, but yeah, I play it that way where yeah. I'm, I'm going around with my Witcher senses on constantly, and I'm looting every single. Barrel, which by the way, I hate that they put the igni candles on top of those barrels because, like, I'm trying to loot one barrel forever and, and I just keep going, just keep flicking the light on. And and I'm all. like, yeah, that's cool, great. So, I like the statement though um, from from the guys because I mean, if, if they're making the game better, one, they got confidence in their development skills and oh, their yeah. and, the, and the script and the writing and how they're and gonna rise, what and direction they're gonna take. Great yeah, games. really, they're yeah. great game. So the, to say it's even better. That's exciting for Tomb Raider thing, uh, Tomb Raider fans. Uh, Hopefully they'll put it on both consoles at the same time. This word. Time. <laughs> That'd be great. <laughs> Jerks. True that. <laughs> All right, so um, apparently the PS4 <coughs> was hacked. Successfully. Mm. Successfully. <laughs> and running Pokemon on Pokemon. Linux. Yeah, it was running using a Linux. Pokemon emulator on a Linux build, which is on the PS4. Kind of cool. Which which version of Pokemon? I don't know. It just, okay. It was that, that is the ultimate question. Right? Yeah, yeah. I it was red know. and blue. It's cool. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know Pokemon. I just know it was Pokemon running on a PS4. Yeah. That's right. You heard him correctly. What if it's Pokemon, Pokemon on PS4? What? what if it's like Pokemon Stadium and it looks like glorious? I, I, no, it was definitely it was definitely a cartridge. <laughs> uh, gotcha. A Game Boy based yeah. Pokemon. But, uh, uh, one day, I, I, I it just goes to show that it can be done, and that PS4 can be modified. Mm. When Sony said, "No, we're not going to let you do that this time," they, where there's a will, there's a we way. We have our ways. <laughs> so, yeah, somebody found a way to do it. Pretty cool. I mean, uh, yeah, really cool. Pretty, pretty neat. Um, I don't, I don't do a whole lot of modding myself. And that I don't would do any. That, that, <laughs> that's that's going to the extreme. Obviously, being able to do that's just crazy. Um, it's rumored to have Sonic uh, getting a new game um, for Why? the 25th anniversary of Sonic. Why? Because it's 25 years of when I mean, he came out. Like they did a 30th anniversary. Uh, they, yeah, they did a. Did they do a 25 anniversary something uh, for Mario? They did a 30. I know. 
something, yeah. Yeah, they usually do something for that. So Wait, Sonic's I mean, getting a 25. And Sonic's one of the, the one of the big ones, and I, I I personally love Sonic, but yeah, I know what you're saying. But like Sonic all the, games they've been trashed the past for a long few time. Years have been garbage. Yeah, they're bad. Like just utter. Crap. There has only been a couple of good ones out of a lot. Yeah. A lot. The last really good one I played was on the Dreamcast. What was that? Sonic uh, Adventure. Adventures, mm -hmm. yeah. That was I loved bad. Sonic Adventures. Mm -hmm. It was awesome. So what do they do with this game? Do they just pit do you put a collection of all the Sonic games that have been out on one massive <laughs> That would be cool. I mean That would be cool. They're probably gonna make a new crap tester game though. But that's so probably yeah. So what do you do if you're if you want to cap get some of those fans back, recapture some of the glory, what do you put a Sonic game to do that? Uh, speed. <laughs> and yeah, like, that's like, the biggest problem right now, yeah. too, is they, they're not capturing the essence of Sonic, which is They've taken them all directions. Yeah. Like, and, but he's, they give them too many places to go out this way and explore like a, in an open world if, instead of just pew. If yeah. they want to do a Sonic game, they should take a, a, a balanced mix between the old Genesis games and the Dreamcast games. I, yeah. I agree with that. I think if they did both of those together in a 3D open world environment, that would really, really work really well. Yeah. And give us all the characters, too. Yeah, Knuckles I was going to say, get all the characters, and the flavor. Eggman and mm -hmm. the chaos and all that's that. Sonic's cocky think, attitude. Yeah. Tails. I love Tails, man, growing up as a kid. I, I like, if you came really? to my house, if, <laughs> I yeah, hate Tails. Yeah. I'm like the really <laughs> rare demographic. Tails. Like, if you came to my house, I was like, oh, you'd be first player. You'd be Sonic. I was always Tails. like, man, Tails, just don't even show up, dude. You're like 30 seconds late for the screen. <laughs> or it's yeah. like, put me down. Yeah. Stop. What are you doing? Draw me. I mean, seriously, Tails just... Good. All right, well, we'll see what the future holds with Sonic. We, we, we are big fans, and hopefully they do it justice. We'll have more for you right after this. Hey there, welcome back. Uh, we were just talking about Tomb Raider, Pokemon on PS4, which is just weird to say. Um, Sonic, we started all, we ended that last segment with Sonic, but um, again, I think we should pick up that conversation on the next episode of Checkpoint, uh, which is going to be great. Uh, so check that out. Anyway, um, I think we should talk about some sequels to that we want to see made. Right? Right. Yeah. So obviously, some sequels should have never been made. Some sequels are better than the original, so forth and so some on. Some sequels are being remade. Re yeah. Tons of remakes going on re right re now. Re I think, released. you know, this is the remake last generation. Year, last yeah. year was like the year of the remake game. Um, of course, we'll see more. But, you know, in, the, in some developers' defense, it's like some of those games were great. Oh, yeah. And well, like Tomb Raider was great they, for what it was then, but it didn't translate well to now, but they did so well with yeah, like that revitalizing that. But, but with current technology, with the, the power of the PS4 and the Xbox One, I mean, some of these older games, you can... <laughs> Actually, like Shinmu was one of those games. Shinmu three. Hopefully, it never was. Yeah. So hopefully, actually, crowd, crowd, they tried to crowdfund that. So it or is a uh, well, well, being yeah. made now. I don't. Yeah, I don't know, it's yeah. being made. Yeah, yeah it raised like a, a thought. Much. But there's a game that was great, but the the developer could never realize the true dream because of the how he was limited. Yeah. Final Fantasy seven. I mean, uh, we'll see that one being remade. Well, hopefully, it's going to be amazing. They're that, changing some they're things up. They're ruining that remake. I was going to say that that so would have been. Game. But what if they say. remade it with again, just like the original, but current? You know, so they could do more with it. They could expand the story. Could look better. Blah blah blah. Have a more advanced battle system, all that stuff, which I think they're trying to do now. Just the only, the episodic content thing ruins it for me. But that would have been my choice if it wasn't already happening. I wish and already they would have stuck to up. the original combat system. Yeah. yeah, like that. That to me, because I love turn-based RPG games yeah. like that, and you don't see that anywhere anymore. And that was felt the need to change it up a day. little bit to. I really thought you were going to say the need for speed. Provide <laughs> a new experience. I don't know. All right, so let's talk about some games that we want to see sequels to. Games that are out there, even either could be a third or fourth or fifth installment, um, or just something that's deserving of a sequel. You mm -hmm. know, whatever it is. Do you have yours? I have two. You have two? Okay, yes. nine, we'll start with you. Go ahead. The first one, I want to see a sequel to Last of Us. Okay, I sure. I badly want to see mm -hmm. a sequel to that. Even if it's not Joel and Ellie, I just want to see a sequel to The Last of Us. I, I want to know more about that environment. I, yeah, you, you Because, man. I mean, if you haven't beat it, 
it leaves it wide open for another game. And, like, and there's no question about that. All I can say is an amazing story, amazing game. Fantastic amazing story. And, and you mentioned the environment. I think that's part of the beauty of The Last of Us. Even though the characters are, so are, are, are great, uh, the story's good. Yeah, you, you could do so much more with that because you could have somebody else, you could have them intertwined, you could have them meet oh, yeah. up. How cool would that be? Um, that's a great game. Solid, yeah. A yeah, solid cool. multiplayer, too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was fun with the time mm -hmm. and everything, yeah. So what else you got? Bloodborne, I want to see a little Bloodborne. <laughs> <laughs> they, they, they knew that was coming. Sure. They should have known that was coming. I'm pretty sure they'll do a Bloodborne 2. I'm definitely thinking that yeah. Sony and FromSoft will do a Bloodborne 2. I really hope they do, but yeah. in the past, they didn't make a sequel to Demon Souls. True. They might go a whole thematic new route. So next time. if they do anything, and especially because Miyazaki said that he was wanted to move in a different time, kind of a different genre of game right that we might not see a bloodborne 2 but yeah if it doesn't happen it doesn't happen if it happens woohoo yeah demon yep. souls kind of stood on its own demon souls sparked dark souls so i'm interested to see what bloodborne sparks <laughs> right cuz dark souls was even bigger than demons I, I know, but well, of course they released a sequel, an actual sequel to yeah. that, and well, then and here's a third, third one on the way. Third but, one on the way. Yeah. But Demon Souls was certainly an amazing uh, title. Of all those, Demons is my favorite. Yeah, it's uh, hands down crazy good, and Bloodborne is is awesome. Bloodborne's also great. So some great choices there. Uh, I don't see any reason why we won't see those those sequels, but yeah, certainly, you know, worthy of Both getting another worthy. one. <laughs> James, what do you think? Uh all right. So, Conquers, I know, already got like a remake <laughs> for like 360 or whatever, but I'd like to see like a Conquers sequel. Like, because Conquers, when I was younger, that was one of the first games I ever played that was so outside of the box. You know, it was like breaking the fourth wall with the Matrix parodies and like all these different parodies. I'd love to see it take on, you know, our, our current. I think there was supposed to be um, a Conquers 2 at one point, and yeah. it got canned. I'd love it if they did that. So much. Did I not hear something about? Wasn't there? Isn't there one being made or? What, no. I don't know if there is. I'm stoked. But yeah. Some some theories, some rumors, I guess. Um, yeah. I think they're doing live and reloaded for Xbox One. The 360 one that came out. I think they're redoing it for Xbox One. Oh, okay. Yeah. But yeah, that's what I'm saying. I'd like to see a sequel, like just stop remaking that a one true and just like sequel. yeah, 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 just give me some new content because it was funny. Oh, yeah, I wanted to just hit me right in the face game. again like that. Yeah, that humor was awesome. The whole game, I was dying laughing. It was like the Mario Brothers version of Duke Nukem. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. because that's just it absolutely was so funny and lewd. I um, for me, uh, do you have any other ones or just that one or? Uh, I'd, I'd like, uh, like we already talked about Sonic. You know, I'd like to see a good like Sonic sequel. I'd like to see a good new Crash Bandicoot sequel. That would You'll be cool. Never see Crash Bandicoot. I know, uh, right? but that would be cool. Uh, He's just saying. <laughs> Gex. Unfortunately, Gex I can the just Gecko. Mix like, that just, one as a Gex. Just old school. Oh my goodness. Gex would be awesome. That would be good. Gex, Gex, would, Gex, Gex would should great. be revived, especially yeah. with a Geico lizard as popular as he is. Yeah. Now. Gex is dope. Ge Geico probably will pay to keep Gex out of the game. You know what I mean? Just yeah. like no, 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 no. We so, don't want do any association. Do like Slither the Snake or something. Yeah. So for me. Um, I, I I know that there'll be one, but the next Bioshock, I'm excited to see where I was thinking about that, that too, yeah. goes yeah. from here. So I'll look forward to that. And then it wouldn't yep. be um, a, a a segment like this without me saying Double Dragon <laughs> should be <laughs> they already did Double Dragon, Dragon all the way. Sequel. Not crap. <laughs> <laughs> Not that neon. Not ultra, neon. neon ultra, I mean, a, yeah. a, a next gen double dragon beat him up like a bad dudes or double dragon. Something like that. You still with player co op. With, like with yeah, battle toads, right? Fun. You want some battle toads in there? Because I do. Battle toads would be awesome. And <laughs> The Simpsons. All right. Right after this, we'll talk about our favorite zombie game when we get back. Hey, everybody, welcome back. <laughs> We're just happy to be here. We get down, dancing, all that kind of fun stuff. All right. So we're going to, so I, I I'm sorry to keep saying this, but we got to revisit this fighting <laughs> beat em up thing <laughs> on the next episode of Checkpoint or uh, the one coming up because I've got so much more to it's say. It's going to be a long episode of Checkpoint, guys. There's going to be multiple checkpoints. But I can't, I mean, th there's not one single game anyway you're watching listen to press start tv <laughs> thank you so much it's will nine yep, <laughs> james <laughs> we're going to talk about our favorite <coughs> i'm going to talk about some of our favorite zombie games that's what we're going to talk about all right 
Zombies, I like zombies. Everybody loves zombies. Yeah. I mean, it's not They're going anywhere. Right now. Oh, cool. It's like a cool zombie VR game. It's one thing that you can always count on in video games. It's like zombies. zombies. Yeah. There will always yeah. be zombies in video games. Mm -hmm. Zombies are so cool that even Everybody in Call knows. of Duty, they just made their own unique spot in that yeah. game. I'm glad they finally added a progression funny. system and all that jazz. So, some... Uh, some there's a lot of choices out there. Um, a lot of choices. So we'll, we'll, I'll spout off some just here to name a few. Um, Zombies ate my neighbors. Of course, <laughs> all the the Black Ops games. There's that one army of zombies or one man army or zombie trilogy. Zombie or trilogy, yeah. Uh, the Left for Dead, Resident Evil, Dying Light. Uh, what's that's the uh, Dead Dead Island. Dead uh, Island. Uh, they got canceled. The new one, right? Plants vs Zombies. Yep. I made a game uh, with zombies in it. Did you guys ever play that? There's that. That indie game. <laughs> Earn it again. Zombie U. And zombie, whatever. Zombie U is now zombie U on PS4 and Xbox One. Zombie uh, makes me think it's going to be like a little bee going around stinging yeah. people. Like, you're infected <laughs> now. We have a it's funny got Jerry Seinfeld in it still. <laughs> yeah. That would be fun. <laughs> I'd play that game. What's the deal? Hey, I just saw your <laughs> stuff. I mean, they're all dead. You weren't even using your brains. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you upset? <laughs> this could go on for days. <laughs> All right, so so there's a lot of the a lot of the bigger be titles, bigger yeah. titles for for zombie games out there. <coughs> I mean, what's your favorite? What's your favorite? What makes a good zombie game? I mean, do you some like well, Dead Island? I was actually very pleasantly surprised with. Um, I thought I had a lot of fun with it. The multiplayer is a little broken, but um, God. I didn't enjoy <laughs> Dead Island. I enjoyed Dying Light. I, I like Dead Island. Dying Light's good. I was the same really way. Uh, I way threw better. down Dead Island in frustration just because I did the multiplayer, and I was the throwing guy. Horrible choice because the enemy guy just went and like I guess maybe they fixed that in a patch later. Did they never? Because he would just go over I'm and pick it up out of zombie, and I was like, that was my like legendary weapon. I have to throw it. Like, stop taking it <laughs> when I throw it. You know, if that, and, that and kind of multiplayer is broken. The, yeah. the campaign and was Dead pretty Island. Good. The biggest, another big complaint was weapons degraded way too fast. And it took me by surprise, though. I will say that, and it was a different experience. It was an experience I'd been wanting for a while. I don't yeah, think it yeah. fully executed it, but yeah. in I think Dying Light ambition. fixed all those issues. They did. Yeah, Dying Light was Dying fun. Dying Light was fantastic. And added parkour, which was yeah. fun. Yeah. And now they're adding vehicles. Oh, yeah. God, so good. <laughs> Um, More parkour. Zombies Ate My Neighbors, a classic game. Yeah. On yeah, Genesis very Super hard Nintendo. Game. Very For hard a lot game. of people, the first zombie game they played. Sure. Yeah. Plants vs. Zombies became like a, just some the weird cult phenomenon. Weirdly fast. Uh, yeah. I, I mean, just like, blew up. Uh, just crazy blew up. Like blew up. Mad. You could get on your smartphones, your tablets, all that kind of stuff. Mm. Of course, you, you can get on your bar. your yeah, regular console. Warfare, which is like just insanely fun. Yeah. Left 4 Dead came out on the 360. One of the more popular. Uh, Left 4 Dead was like a that ton was jam. of fun. Uh, of Don't course, like you can't forget, yeah. you know, <laughs> Resident <laughs> Evil, uh, one of the all-time best. And you can throw maybe Evil Within. Evil on that. Within. Oh Most yeah, Evil Within. Kind of a zombie game. Yeah. I'd Last of Us is that. kind of a zombie Comby? game. Yeah. Com it's not really zombies, but... Kind of some weird zombies. Yeah. It's based so, off the idea of the zombie ants, so yeah. I guess. So let's talk about some... If you had to pick one as of right now... I had to pick <laughs> one and only one, Resident Evil 2. Well... Hands down, my all-time favorite zombie How game. did we know you were going <laughs> to say that? We, we've talked about this off-camera before, and I would have to say that Resident Evil 2 is definitely... That was like my first zombie game, really, for me. That was me. the first Actually, zombie game that I engrossed... A large amount of time. Yeah, and that actually scared me. That's the thing, because I'd play like you know, Zombies Ate My Neighbors. Something uh, that scared me. <laughs> Resident Evil Two. I was really young when I played it, but it did. Uh, but because you took that choice, I'd have to go with Left 4 Dead. Because Left 4 Dead, <laughs> I spent a lot. You can pick Resident Evil yeah, Two as well. Yeah, but it's, it's a fantastic title. It is. It is. Left 4 Dead was like out of multiplayer zombie games. Is still. My favorite, it was accessible. You had couch co-op, which right. we just talked about. I could play with anybody. I could introduce anybody to that game. It, yeah. it had what, what made, I think is the main thing that made Battlefront successful, was accessibility. You just walk in, you pick one of three guns, go kill some zombies. Yeah, right on. Yeah. Oh, Dead or Alive. Dead, dead, uh, dead or Alive. That's Dead or Alive. Dead, that's yeah. not dead or alive. Um, exactly. The, the Turns people into zombies, but. <laughs> dead Rising? Dead Rising, yeah. 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 There you go. That was, yeah. That's yeah, a, we totally forgot about that one. Yeah, <laughs> that's a nothing oh, but sorry. zombies. Sorry, Frank yeah. West. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> sorry, Capcom. But I've covered wars, you know. 
So yeah, Left 4 Dead, I think, you know, would be a great announcement for Microsoft at this year's E3. Yeah. Left 4 Dead 3 on the yeah. Xbox One. That would one. be good for anyone <clears throat> to cheer. announce. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. whoever wants that exclusivity, jump yeah, on that. jump on that. Yeah. But Valve can't count to three, so. Yeah. Right, right. Um, so, uh, you know, for me, I'll throw out that I had a lot of great experiences on Resident Evil as well growing up, obviously. First, First one was great. Actually, they're all pretty good. I I think 4 is fantastic. Um, a lot of people think 4 is better. I, I think... Uh, you can say you think it's better. It won't hurt my feelings. I, I do. I do think it's better. Um, you know... Resident Evil 5 wasn't even bad, man. Like I mean, I love Resident yeah. Evil 5. The co-op yeah. in Resident Evil 5 was I actually awesome. enjoyed Zombie U. I'm going to have to give it, I know this sounds terrible, but I'm going to have to give it to, to Black Ops. Uh, yeah, no, the no, first one. kind of saw that coming. Yeah. I, the, the first, because well, the something war? about, no, the, okay, the Black Ops, Black Ops zombies. Yeah. zombies, where yeah. you could run that, it was a German. Kino do Toten. You yeah. can run the loop, mm -hmm. and like you can My favorite as hit well. the pack and punch and doing all that kind of stuff. Something I've about that. So many getting, hours. We used to get all four of us together and just like just yeah. knock that out, play it, play it, play it. Oh god. And it just created that fun. Make a crawler. Know. Make a crawler. Yeah, I, gotta the man, I, mean, I gotta go use the bathroom. This this yeah. is this is what it's about. But uh, all those all America those games problems. are some great. So obviously we want to hear from you. What is your favorite zombie game? Let us know. That's all the time we have for you today. Thank you <laughs> so much for joining us. You can check us out on pressstarttv.com. Until next time, we'll see you. Later. Later.